Nikki, Ross, we've chatted about World Cup, we've talked about the pools, we have some idea of what your favourite teams are, but some, some quick fire predictions, if, if we may, just to make us all look really daft when we look back on it, because one of us may be close to being right, but unlike, unlikely given our past successes. So, so Ross, I'm going to come to you to start with your top three for the competition. Uh, Netherlands, Australia, England... There you go. Said that with real, <laughs> real belief and purpose. Right, so Netherlands, that. Australia, and England yeah. to fill the podium at the end of the competition. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Netherlands, Australia, Argentina. Okay. Well, there's a bit of a consistency across two of those because I'm going to go with Netherlands, Australia, and I'm going to throw India in as my third. So India to finish off the medals. Um, top goal scorer. Payat. Payat. Hence, Argentina up on the rostrum for you. <laughs> Top goal scorer? Yeah, I think pay out as well. Okay, well, given the given that I put India on the, the podium, I think they're going to get their big of Harman Pritch seeing will flick corners well. He was outstanding in Amman. And if, if they're going to get there, they've got to do something slightly beyond the norm. So I'll go my top scorer, Harman Pritch. Unfortunately for us, pure, for the purists, given the discussion we've had, that's corner flickers. Unfortunately, across the board, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll be mistaken. It might be something like a browser who comes out of the, the woodwork, but we'll see. Um, best player then for the competition. Um, I know we've got the same, <laughs> um, but as we were highlighted earlier, Sebi Bernas. I think it would be great to have a player like that win MVP because his work rate, his leadership. He, I think he will deserve it. Well, we didn't talk about this before we named it, and I've. We've got a Dutch sweep, however, because I've gone with Sander Devine nice. for mine, so I think he might he might come out of it. But yeah. as we showed in the discussion about players across all the teams, there are so many class players, and yeah. we're never quite sure what the voting is for, to actually make that, but maybe maybe we'll find some way of doing a, a poll that, that we can do and in, invite you guys who are watching this to, to give us some feedback on that. Um, now for some controversy, possibly. The biggest shock that we think we will see at the competition. Let's see how many people we can upset. Obviously we've predicted Netherlands, Argentina, sorry, Netherlands, Australia, and then a variety of third places, but mm. elsewhere across the competition. So not necessarily the results, but the team performance, either a positive or a negative. I think France are gonna to get to the quarterfinals. There we go, I've said it. I'm in all sorts of trouble with this one, but. If it comes off, though, you're going to be like, Yeah, oh. I'll look like an absolute genius. And uh, if if they do really badly, I'll just have to delete all my social media and go into hiding <laughs> somewhere in the south of France. Not that we condone <laughs> betting in any way, shape or form. But if, we're gonna, if you're going to do this, you've been so convicted, you've had such conviction to start the programme. Go and put a fiver on it I don't know and why. see what happens. I don't know why I'm so, I'm so... I don't know, i just got this feeling. It's not based on anything particularly scientific but so yeah I'm going to get absolutely hammered for this but well, yeah. there's been various FA <laughs> Cup things going on this week haven't there I think you've got this, this romantic dream in terms of what might happen oh I'll stick with it <laughs> um, Canada I think I think they should finish third in their group but I think it'll be their performances I hope are going to be something that makes them kind of stand out again and do better than maybe people think they're going to do oh, I should have said that <laughs> oh, there we go. Already <laughs> disagreeing. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna well, I'll go for some problem to control. I think it's based on ranking. So I reckon England going in rank seventh will make the semis. So that's my prediction. We shall see as the competition progresses whether any of this comes true in any way, shape, or form. We absolutely welcome the comments that come in. Please feel free. Tell us we're wrong. Tell us what it should be. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed the program, and we look forward to updating you as the competition progresses. Thank you.